so i just got out of bed and uh it's it's really late um it's it's 9 30 a.m and i was supposed to start work at 9 a.m so i'm just gonna get quickly ready and then i'll start working uh so i'll take you guys along with me in the day this is basically my day as a software engineering intern for lyft i've been working for about two months and um i'll, I'll tell you a bit more about it as we go through the day so this is what i wake up to every morning this is basically my ceiling to floor windows and i love them but they're super bright in the morning which really wakes me up but the view is awesome from here and this is my desk and that's basically my room and this is my favorite part of the room which is my library So currently I'm interning remotely, which means that I can wake up literally 15 minutes before I need to start work and I'm waking up at the time I'm supposed to start work. So my team is based off the Seattle office. So they usually start working at like 12 p.m. my time. So I'm in, I'm in Atlanta right now. So then my team starts working at 12 p.m. my time. That gives me a little bit of buffer time to not do anything from like 9 to 12. So Lyft has offices in like three main locations as far as I know. Uh, there's SF, uh, San Francisco, and there's Seattle where my team's located. And then the finally, I think there's one in New York. Um, I requested for a New York office because it will be like aligning with the time zone. So um, that didn't happen. I'm wrapping some lift gear and I'm ready to start my day. I start by usually just like checking my emails. So I showed my desk setup a little bit, but like this is what uh, it actually looks like. That's my PC that I use for gaming um, and, and like running my machine learning models. Um, this is my Keychron keyboard. I really like it. Um, this is a monitor, 32 inch curved monitor. And that's my PS5 that I used for playing. Um, I usually keep a snack box next to me. So these like, um, Roasted mix, roasted mix nuts really are healthy and it's unsalted so like you don't even gain like much calories there and um this is my mic that i use for meetings um it's my glasses that's my that, my laptop that i use for work and that's a portal so i don't have much to do today until my meetings start which are usually after 12 pm i try to document everything so the it's July right now, and um, basically, um, I don't really uh, have much to do because my internship's ending. Um, so I've almost, I'm almost done with my project, and I'm trying to document everything. Um, and it's important to do that because um, it it gives you visibility. So at the end of the internship, you can always say that like, hey, this is a list of things that I did every week, and this is what I did well in every part of my project. So like independence, uh, creativity, etc. I keep a track of that. And, and and at the end of the internship, when people are evaluating you for a return offer, uh, it's easy to show that. It's almost 10.30 now, and I'm gonna try to grab some breakfast. Um, I usually just have a bread that I really like. It's called Ezekiel bread. Uh, and I try to get it with peanut butter. So this is the bread that I really like. It's called Ezekiel. And I think the sesame flavor is the best. And I usually have it with like either some butter. I usually usually use like non-dairy butter, or um, I have it with, with hummus. But today I'm in the sweet mood, so I'm gonna grab some peanut butter and use that. So this is my apartment. Um, it's my roommate. My roommate. They must be sleeping right now and uh, this is the view from my balcony so that's that building actually there is NCR uh, it's also a really cool company um, yeah it's, it's NCR and you can see this view from my room as well so that's why I really like working from my room so I really like listening to music while I'm working I know it's like distracting for some people but I enjoy working and I have my portal out here so I'll put on some songs there um, and I'll 
I just like listening to random music while I'm working. It's it, it's just like something that like keeps me my like ears busy, and that's not for everyone for sure. But like I really like it. <laughs> It's almost late afternoon and I'm planning to grab some lunch because I'm getting really hungry. So I thought I'll just work outside and take you guys with me. The weather is super nice outside today. Uh, it's a little bit on the windy side. I'm planning to grab lunch at Moe's. It's this Tex-Mex restaurant. And I really like the rice bowls, uh, which I get with like guac and corn and tomato and stuff like that. So I'm in my research lab right now and there's literally no one here so I thought I'd just stay here, work for a bit and then eat. Um, this is my research lab and that's it's in the Klaus computing building and that's the robot that I work with. I just finished like most of my work, it's 5.30pm out here. What I usually do out here is basically like work because it's, it's a quite an environment to be working in um, and it's just like a nice place to be working in because they're surrounded by like desktops and if there's someone here they're really quiet and it keeps you focused so I like doing that and I have taken all my meetings here. I'm basically on Georgia Tech's campus right now we're in the Klaus building uh, which is the computer science building and it's this is the research wing so this is a research lab. Um, what I usually do after this is like I have a few meetings for the organizations and I try to go for like some sports so usually on most days I'm playing basketball but today is uh, table tennis night, so I'll go for table tennis for like an hour or so, and then I have a meeting for uh, for this organization called IEEE, which I am a part of, and I'm on the executive board. I'm heading to my table tennis team meeting right now, and maybe I can grab a bus. I'll see. Uh, I just missed it. got back home I mean, I'll just wash my face and chill for a bit and then after that I can make uh, dinner I'm thinking of making pasta with garlic so, uh, garlic olive oil and um, nutritional yeast and it tastes awesome uh, definitely recommend I might show you guys how I'm making it um, other than that I'm gonna talk a little bit about like why I did my internship and what I did during it so uh, stay tuned for that. Basically today, I didn't have too many meetings, just a couple of them. And what I did was I worked on um, finishing up some of the milestones that have been set for me. And that involves just pushing out code, getting it reviewed, uh, the PRs. And that's probably the hardest part about the job, which is the code reviews, because they're so extensive. And that's because they want to ensure that the code that's being pushed out is of good quality. So it's really a great learning process because code reviews are a part of any company and writing good code is something that you don't probably learn a lot in school about. Um, for at least for me, in my classes at Georgia Tech, I mostly write code that is quite hacky. So um, I guess that's why uh, this provides a really good platform to learn a lot of good code writing. But Maybe I can give a bit of a primer about like the project that I'm working on. So it's a 12 week long project that involves uh, a lot of backend work, but it doesn't need to be limited to backend. I know a lot of my intern friends are front end as well as full stack engineers um, and other interns as well. What Lyft does is that they send out a survey at the start of this internship where you can put your preferences about what kind of what kind of stack you have experience with and what kind of part of the stack you want to work with. So I personally cannot 
for the life of me do front end so i put back end as my preference and that's the only experience that i have and that's what i ended up with uh, i'm pushing out code to production and that's one of the great things about the lift internship that you're pushing out code to production and your code makes an impact and i've noticed that not only for my uh, my project but also multiple projects for different interns this year if you guys are interested i'd be happy to talk about how i got into the program and what other things that i do as part of the program i'm making burritos and this is the tortilla that i use for it it's from this brand called siete um i really like this brand because it's grain free and it's super nutritious i'm also using refried beans out here um i decided not to make pasta because it takes too long to boil water and i didn't have too much time here's the taco seasoning that i use from the same brand this burrito is finally ready i'm so hungry i've been dying to eat and i put some chickpeas some rice in it to make it more filling all right guys i'm done for the night and i'm heading to sleep Thanks for following me on this journey as I start my YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below about the videos that you want to watch next. Press the bell icon for more notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.